Welcome back. Time now for some 814 Eats. And for that, we have Chef Terry here from the U.S. Hotel Tavern. Terry, how's everybody see you. doing today? It's a Monday, so you know we're doing yeah. fine. We're doing all right. Yeah. I went to work at 4 a.m. this morning to bake pastries for the cafe, and they left me a note that they didn't need any. <laughs> <laughs> so I went home and went back to bed and came to work. Well, that's the, for that's the most the Monday demo. way to start a Monday ever. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> My dog didn't mind going back to bed. <laughs> okay. So, so what are we making today, Chef We're Terry? making crab stuff haddock, Ooh. and what I did already is I sauteed the onions, the celery, the garlic and added the white wine and reduced it a little. Ooh. So then you add that to the bowl. That's what smells good. It's really kitchen. not hard to make good crab dips. Just don't overdo the breading. Um, and then next we're going to add the crab, Ooh. which um, I had to use jumbo lump, which is very advantageous, more expensive. But what I did um, is I added some of the legs in with it too. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to add that. This is our floor manager's, uh, Kevin, like favorite thing. Stuffing is it? crab into fish. Well, like he talks about it all the time. Yeah. I add a little lemon pepper. And when I cook like just fish, rather than use lemon juice and it runs too much, because fish waters a lot anyway, Yeah. Um, I use lemon pepper. Okay. And I use paprika. So we're going to add a little paprika. Just look at the recipe. And this recipe isn't exact. You have to fill it when you're mixing it. If it needs more, I'm adding some parsley that I chopped and dried earlier. And we're going to add some uh, Old Bay seasoning. I don't overdo it with the Old Bay because it um, has a saltiness. You yeah. don't want too much salt. It's very so I never use I never use actually salt. Okay. So we're going to mix that together. Look at that. Nice and we're going to um, add some panko breadcrumbs. They're the kind I prefer. I don't l necessarily like seasoned breadcrumbs because they take away if you don't want a certain spice in it. Okay. So we're going to mix that together. I love anything with crab in it. I could probably eat oh, all yeah. day. It doesn't it, even it matter. It is yummy. The only thing with legs is you have to be careful because... Um, it will um, dance, run away. Shells. Oh, shells. <laughs> Pieces of shells. <laughs> no, that's, you're like talking it. about yourself. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not everything is about you. Well, that's, you know, that's what people say. <laughs> but you wouldn't have a job if it sort of wasn't. Yeah, that's true. You know, now I put mayonnaise in. We're doing a lot of soul searching here about on the show today. Three <laughs> tablespoons. <laughs> and you can see you're getting almost like a crab cake mixture. Yeah. And so we're going to set that aside for now. Okay. And we're going to use... Magic of television. Magic of television and Chef Terry is... I have some already mixed. You, that's sort of the texture you want. I would have added more breadcrumbs to that one. But you want about like that. Now you take your... We have haddock here. I okay. thawed it out earlier today. And usually want to... Sorry, I'm messy. I'm a messy cook. That's okay. Cook. You know, we make messy. They say the good the cooks are the messy ones, <laughs> but I'm not afraid to clean up them. Okay. Okay. When you're doing um, stuffed fillet fish, you can do tilapia. You can do haddock cod. I prefer haddock or cod because they have a cleaner flavor okay. and allows you to taste the stuffing. You just cut a line sort of in the center, and you see it allows like a hole in it. Okay. And I take. A good bit of the crab cake, or yeah, crab mixture. It is kind of like a crab cake. Yeah, it is. You could actually make crab cakes out of that. Well, and then I works. put it on top of that, pushing some out. And you want to form it so it sort of like has walls. Okay. See that? And that tail I'll tuck under. And then I take some extra crab because you want it like mounted up. Yeah, you want to see that there's a whole lot of crab in yeah. there. For sure. And then you put that in your baking dish. Um, I put lemon pepper on it, a touch of paprika, and um, it goes in the oven at 350. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so right now we're going to get out the finished product. Oh, okay. We do have a finished one. Yeah. We'll take a look at that. 
Yeah, that looks good. And I love, uh, you know, you say you, you want to make sure it looks like it's stuffed. This isn't, we're not playing around here. We're putting crab in here. We're not right. skipping anybody I out. don't skim. <laughs> I don't skip. I'll get the oven door for you, Tim. Thank you. And uh, then this is the finished product, if I can come around here. And voila. Look at that. What a good day for a Monday and yeah, crab a, stuff haddock. A and, good Monday. And, and I really need to mention that this is a good dish for Lent. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea because that's coming up soon and people start doing their fish cooking yes. and things like that. Yeah. You know what, Terry, while you're plating, I'm actually going to grab a bite here. Okay. We are running a little bit out of time. Why don't you tell the folks uh, where they can find you to have some of these delicious meals? I'm on s the corner of South Juniata and Wayne Street in Hollidaysburg. Chef Terry, that is fantastic. Thanks. That is so good. And then a little bit of um, Beurre Blanc sauce. Ooh. I, mean, I had it without the sauce. Okay. I'm going to keep trying it over here with the sauce. Chef Terry, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Always a thank pleasure. You. Let's get a check of Radio 1 forecast with Mike Doyle. Have Mike. a great rest of your day. <laughs>